Hi, Judy from Witch Pierce Craft. Welcome to 2022. Happy New Year, everyone. I hope you saw the New Year in and looking forward with a lot of positivity. We didn't do a lot New Year's Eve. We're not big on partying or going to see fireworks as we've got older now. Um, we just, I usually just make a nice dinner and then we have a few drinks to see the New Year in. So, my first make along I am joining for 2022 is the wacky make a do with Laura from Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farming. I think this is going to be a lot of fun. It doesn't matter what art or creativeness you use for this, she just wants to have some shenanigans and fun during her long winter and my long hot summer, very humid summer, I thought I would join in. So it's about finding holidays or days and making something fun or having some fun with them and being creative. So 1st of January, Polar Bear Plunge Day. Why wouldn't I do something for that? I love polar bears. If you're a new subscriber, it is one of my passions and welcome. I collect ceramic and porcelain polar bears. I've been to the Arctic and seen them in the wild. I just love them. This is a bit of a collection of my polar bear collection, a very small selection. This is a Murano Glass Masters uh, polar bear, which he blew specially for me. Each It's signed underneath and numbered. It's actually glass with 24 karat gold blown through it to make it yellow like a polar bear. This is a Stife polar bear I picked up on my travels in Scotland in the Gordon in an antique shop. I haven't seen one of those before. I might rearrange these two. These two I picked up in Russia. Now, if you've heard of the Fabergé egg, this is a bit of a play on the Fabergé egg. This is a Fabergé polar bear. I couldn't decide between the two, so I bought both. See, they just open up little polar bear trinket boxes from Russia. And this one, he's quite valuable. I, I say I bought him from the jeweler's bridge in Florence. There's a big bridge with lots of jewelers. This is actually solid silver on him. He's quite expensive. The thing did buy him for me because he's quite sweet. Very small selection on my polar bear collection. Now, it's rare for Thing to buy me anything frivolous for Christmas as we've got older, but this year he did. He bought me this polar bear pillow. He said he saw it and he knew I'd like it. It is furry and soft. Isn't it gorgeous? I have a polar bear cushion pillow. That was a Christmas present, one of them from him. So, polar bear plunge day. 1st of January. Polar Bear Plunge Day is about humans, bodies, of people finding a cold body of water and taking a dip in it. And I mean very cold. It's very popular in the Northern Hemisphere. Um, not so much here in the tropics, but they do do it in Tasmania where it's a lot colder and closer to Antarctica. And a lot of people do it in order to raise funds for charity. So Polar Bear Plunge Day is what I'm celebrating and my interpretation of it. So I am using food art today to celebrate Polar Bear Plunge Day. I've made a cake. Uh, it was Mary Berry's Ginger Ring Cake. I think that's what it's called. Um, I used Blue Heaven Jelly. You guys might call it Jello in the middle. Jam and Betty Crocker frosting to make my tribute to Polar Bear Plunge Day. So before you watch that video, now you need a very dark sense of humour. I have a dark sense of humour. And if you don't, think maybe you should go and I'll see you in the next video. If you do, stay and check it out. A few disclaimers. No animals were hurt in the making of this video. All food hygiene standards were met. Any foreign bodies used in the project were sterilised and no food was wasted. Thing and Reeves devoured it when I finished doing the video. 
I hope you enjoy it. I hope you find it funny. I hope Laura thinks it's great and, and really meets the criteria of a wacker, wacky maker do. Um, yeah, this is my tribute to Polar Bear Plunge Day. So guys, stay tuned, watch the little video, leave a comment and give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Because depending on the number of likes and comments I get, I will be making a donation to my local animal refuge at the end of January to honour the polar bears that I love. I thought I'd just do it local this time. Until next time, stay safe, take care, and make sure you find something to have a laugh at in 2022. Bye for now. Well, Mildred, what do you think? The first one for the day. Not bad, George. She's a little on the sweet side, though. These stupid humans, they think the 1st of January is their polar bear plunge day. Well, they can dive into our pool and we'll have a good feed. Let's hope there's many more to go. Happy Polar Plunge Day, Mildred. Thanks, George. Happy Polar Plunge Day to you too. What did you think of my food art? Did you find it funny? Or did you find it grossed you out? Let me know in the comments below. I'd really like to know what you think of my dark sense of humour. I hope Laura liked it. Please make sure you check out um, Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farming and subscribe to her channel and consider joining us for the Wacky Make-A-Do in 2022. Bye for now.